Wait, I just realized something. When we were looking at the security footage earlier, we were just looking for live feeds. We were trying to figure out where the others are, what they were up to, if they were alive, and so on. But we totally forgot that security systems like this can do more than show you live footage. Are you following me? Yeah, I don't know how much luck we'll have, but it's worth a shot. Leave that to... Well, it was designed so that a human could operate it. That means there's a logic to how it's set up. A computer computes, a calculator calculates, and an automobile mobiles. Everything's designed to do something once you start to figure out... See? Knock it off. Makes it sound like you're better than me or something. Hmm, uh, let's check the log. Damn it. This isn't good. Looks like all the video data was removed before we got here. That would be my guess. All it says here is administrator. Yeah. It might have given us what we need to figure out who the killer is, too. The camera in room 2 in the crew quarters would have recorded what happened to Alice and Luna. Same for the old woman in the warehouse. And if there was a recording of us being carried into the AB rooms, we could have even figured out who Zero Senior is. Wanna open it? It says, Gollum status. Yeah. You mean the room full of robots on the other side of the green door? Here we go. Looks like it. What is it? What do you mean? I thought you told me Gollum, or whatever his name was, started spitting smoke and keeled over. Already on it. Here you are. Sure. This is... Interesting. This is the footage the Gollum pulled from the main server. The original data was deleted, but it looks like the stuff he pulled is still here. So, if we go back through these files... Nice! Great work, Sigma! Good. Looks like they're both fine. You okay? You sure? That's good. You really looked like you'd lost it for a minute there. Your sanity's pretty easy to miss. Well, looks like I don't have anything to worry about. I hope that's all it is. You haven't... caught a disease or something, have you? Well, you're looking a lot better, so I can stop worrying, right? Fine. No more check-ins.
Anyway, come have a look at the... Footage from room two in the crew quarters. I dug it out of Gollum's cache. We'll see you in a minute. Can you figure it out? Yeah, the central server seems to be using its own time system. Files appear to be named based on that system. They might as well be random to you and me, which made it pretty hard to find this gem. Yeah. I'll just pause that and magnify it. Exactly. Yes, after Kay leaves this room, it's about two minutes before he comes back with you and me. Right. Yeah, if you believe him. The footage here doesn't show any of that. I looked around, but I couldn't find one. The only stuff left is shot from this position. Even so, I think we've gotten our hands on something important. Exactly. Are you ready? Okay, let's keep going. I'll move back to the start of this file so we can see it in chronological order. Let's say this is zero hours, zero minutes. After all, it's not like we know what time it actually is. So, this is the start of our footage. Yeah, about a minute goes by before anyone shows up. This. Yeah, if I play it back at normal speed, I can measure time using this hourglass. Then I just add the time from the hourglass. Yeah, this is zero hours one minute. Right now you and I are talking to Dio in the Floor B warehouse. With the time frame we've established, calculating what we're doing is pretty easy. Yeah. Wanna listen to it? Don't know. The audio data must have been transcoded into something else. Seen enough? I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Clover's interrogation goes on for a while, but now, at zero hours, ten minutes, here. Yeah, this is the only one that I found. Shouldn't be too hard to guess what happened after you've seen the next part, though. Yeah, this is about a minute and 40 seconds after they both left the frame. So zero hours, 11 minutes, 40 seconds. Hold on. Wait until you've seen the whole thing before you start deducing. At zero hours, 12 minutes, Another person comes in, just... I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that whatever it was, he doesn't want us to know about it. Remember what he said when you asked him about Quark? How the fuck would I know? I've been here. Yeah. So what would have been important enough for him to lie about it? We should consider that it might have been something bad. Yeah, I think so. Maybe he heard a noise. The cyan door opening? Now, 10 seconds after Dio leaves, that brings us to 0 hours, 13 minutes, 10 seconds. And then Kay disappears, too. If Kay was telling the truth, this is where he begins to try and resuscitate Luna. Anyway, nothing happens for the next 16 minutes. It's just... this. So I'll fast forward, alright? Alright. One sec. Okay. Yeah. We're back to 21 minutes before the primary doors open. For our arbitrary time code, that's 0 hours and 29 minutes. One minute later, at 0 hours 30 minutes, K heads to the Floor A warehouse. 
That's all the footage I wanted to show you. I've looked at it carefully, and I think it has something to tell us. Well, I can't say for sure. This footage makes for pretty shaky evidence, but it does suggest a very likely culprit. Who do you think it is? What makes you think so? Luna could still have been alive after Clover left the room. Dio and Kay both went into the room after Clover. Either of them could have killed Luna too. And what is that element? Hmm. Use your fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. Yeah. He knew we had Luna's bracelet, which means he also knew Luna was dead. Is that what you're getting at? When Dio entered the room, Luna was already dead. Interesting. That's pretty much what I thought, too. And it does seem like Clover had a motive. Yes. The movement of the AB rooms convinced Alice that Luna had killed the old woman. Once Clover realized that, she probably started to think that Luna had killed Alice to keep her from telling anyone else the truth. She probably led Luna to the crew quarters to confront her. Maybe she hoped seeing Alice's corpse would cause Luna to confess. Maybe she knew something we don't. But Clover didn't get what she wanted. Then, during her interrogation, something happened. It's hard to say what. Luna might have said something that set Clover off. Or, maybe she admitted to a crime she didn't commit just to get Clover to stop. Whatever it was. Something happened that drove Clover to murder. I would guess after she went through the yellow door, she would have been exploring the infirmary with Alice and Kay. That seems the most likely place to find it. Anyway, this is all just a theory, right? We don't have any proof, so keep it quiet, okay? <laughs> No, nothing to tell us where Clover, Tenmyoji, and Quark went. And nothing about the old woman or Alice's murders either. Still unknown. I wonder if Clover's even alive. I sure hope so.
Yeah. All right, let's start looking. We'll go through the crew quarters and work our way toward the elevator. Got it? You search rooms one and two. I'll take three and four. <laughs> No good. There's no one in three or four. What about yours? <laughs> What's wrong? You need to get it together. What are we doing right now? Right. I know how you feel, but sitting around being miserable isn't gonna help anybody. Let's go. They were in a blind spot. The security camera. Remember how we didn't see anything in the real-time feed in the security room? Yeah. Yeah, whoever did this really didn't want them going anywhere. The chain's been looped around the pipe below the sink. Look, see the red marks on their wrists? They were trying to get the handcuffs off. Probably not. And the blood on his clothes probably came from that wound. I don't see any others, at least. If this was the only one, it doesn't look fatal. I don't think he died from this cut. Yeah. You can see the marks on their wrists from where they were injected. The tubercurine must have killed them. Hmm. They wouldn't have been able to get through the white doors without Quark. Someone wanted to use the penalty to kill them. They didn't need to tie them up. Hmm. I take back what I just said. Yeah. Correct. It has 9 BP, too. There's no mistake. Your heart's done. Hey, Sigma, calm down. Just because his bracelet's off doesn't mean Quark's dead. In fact, this could be good news. A ray of hope. Yeah, if Quark still had his bracelet on, then he would have ended up like Tenmyoji and Clover. But he's not wearing it. That means he might have managed to avoid getting injected with tubercurine. Yeah. Maybe he got out then. Why do you have to be so pessimistic? Have you actually seen Quark dead, huh? You need to think positive, Sigma. 
Reality is what we believe it to be. That's enough! Quark is definitely alive. He has to be. He has to be. I refuse to believe he isn't. I can't let an innocent kid like that get killed. Examining their bodies, Tenmyoji first. Clues to who might have killed them. Finding Quark's bracelet tells us something. If the killers saw it, that would make for an obvious motive. Right. That's my guess, at least. That's odd. I can't find anything. I should have found something. You remember when we ran into Tenmyoji in the rec room? He sprayed our wrists with luminol. I'm sure I saw him pull the spray bottle out of his pocket. Right. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at Clover, too. Give me a minute. Look, see your thigh? Doesn't it look like there's something written there? I'm sorry, I'll have to move your leg a little bit. It says... 016. Hang on. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. 016. 016. I know I've seen it somewhere. <sighs> it's no use. Can't remember. Anyway, these numbers have to have something to do with the killer. She must have written them after she got hit with a soparil. There would have been a few minutes before she went all the way under when she could have done something. I think she probably used those last minutes to tell the rest of us who killed her. No, there's also Quark. I mean, I'm not saying he did it, just... There's a very good chance someone took the spray bottle out of Tenmyoji's pocket. Well, let me ask you this. Why do you think they took it? What would they need to do in order to do that? That's it? So? And that would mean...
Keep saying it. Quark's still out there somewhere. You're being ridiculous. Look at their bodies. There's an axe buried in Kay's back, and the spear has been thrust all the way through Dio's stomach. Do you really think a child Quark's size could do that? And just when would I have done that? I've been with you this whole time. Checking their bodies like before, I decided to start with Dio. Yeah, two things actually. Take a look at this. Yeah. Dunno. It's not a name I've ever heard of before. But look at the handle. You've seen it before, right? Right. From the looks of it, I guess the blade is about 15 centimeters long. I'd say it's probably about 3 centimeters tall and 3 millimeters wide. Like, wound cavity. Hmm, alright, well, wound cavity would be the depth of the wound. Wound length would be how long it is from top to bottom, and wound width, in other words. Right. Well, I was just eyeballing those measurements, so we can't be sure. He must... That would match up with what we saw. Right. Well, we can look into that more later. 